Over the last few weeks, there has been a ton of news around different people in Hollywood getting called out for sexual harassment, sexual assault, and all sorts of other allegations. And the question that we want to ask ourselves today is, can people change? And in this video, I am mainly going to be focusing on Kevin Spacey, and some of my opinions and outlooks on this might ruffle some feathers, but I think it's important that we talk about this, so stay tuned. What's up everybody, this is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but we focus on the solution. So I need to start this video out with a very, very clear disclaimer, okay? In this video, I am going to be focusing mainly on Kevin Spacey and his current situation, all right? I am not linking Kevin Spacey into the same realm as people like Harvey Weinstein, Brett Ratner, and James Toback. Those three individuals, if you've been following the news, those people are garbage and scum. And I, I am going to focus on what we know about Kevin Spacey based on the facts that have come out. And just to let you know, this video is being recorded on November 1st, and this is limited information. More information may come out. We good? We good. Okay, cool. So Kevin Spacey, for those of you who don't know, when he was 27 years old, he pushed himself onto a 14 year old. This was maybe 20 years ago. Um, it was part of a, a Broadway cast. Um, and yes, absolutely no excuse. No excuse for this type of behavior. Kevin Spacey has been getting a lot of flack because he used this news story to then come out of the closet, which is a whole nother video in and of itself. But on top of that, first, House of Cards said that they are making the this the very last season. The very next day, House of Cards said that they were stopping production on it based on everything going on with Kevin Spacey. After that, we found out that Kevin Spacey is having a, an award taken away from him and all these other things. So this is why I think we need to talk about this. Question, what Ke Kevin Spacey did, is it excusable? Absolutely, 1,000% not. But the question I'm trying to ask you is, can people change? Now, based on the other video I did, The Science of Hopelessness, which I will link up in the info card above my head, I suggest you check it, because I do discuss how people's brains can change. It's what we call neuroplasticity. But this, this topic hits very close to home with me, and here's why. If you are watching this, most of my audience who watches my videos only knows this version of Chris. If you've been following my channel, if you've been following my videos, you know that I am a recovering drug addict. And this is something I try to explain to my clients. Like, you are meeting the best version of myself, but you need to realize there was a decade of my life where all I was doing was hurting people. I have done terrible, terrible things in my past, um, although none of them had to do with sexual assault or any type of misconduct in that form, I am somebody who drove drunk all over the city of Las Vegas. I have lied and cheated and stolen from my best friends, from my family members. I have done very awful things. So when I look at this and what's going on, I have to look at Kevin Spacey's situation and see that with the facts we have right now, this is an isolated incident. And if people judged me for the rest of my life based on what I did at 27, especially if it was a one-time deal, like where would I be in life right now? I would never be able to get the jobs that I wanted. I would never be able to regain the trust and friendships that I have or my family or my son if people held those things over my head. Now, what I will say is I have done a lot of work to pay back these kind of debts that I can technically never pay back. I was such a terrible person for such a long time, I am constantly in the business of giving and helping people. I do this YouTube channel just to help people. And part of that is part of my healing process and trying to become a better person. And while I don't forget my past and I don't just ask for all to be forgiven, I move forward by being a better person. And I will end with this. I want to leave this in your mind. A few months back, I was kind of triggered, if you will, by a post I saw on Facebook. And it was a meme, one of those memes that goes around, and it said something to the effect of, 
Isn't it funny how the people who used to bully you in high school are now the same people posting on Facebook about how we should all be nicer to each other? And the question I wanna ask you, like, what's the alternative? Would you prefer that that person lived the rest of their life hurting people? Or would you prefer that at some time in their life they made this switch? Everybody needs to realize, and I'll do a, a better video on this at some point, but forgiveness is an act towards yourself more than it is the other person. So to say that somebody did something in the past and they should never be a better person, in my opinion, and I'm somebody who hates a hypocrite, that's not hypocritical. That's called growth. That's called becoming a better person. So think about that for a second. What's the alternative? Would you rather this person be the terrible person they were for the rest of their life rather than having this change? Like, let's think about that. So here's my question of the day for you. Do you think people can change? Or have you witnessed the change that somebody else has gone through? Please leave them down in the comments below because I really want to hear your thoughts on this. But anyways, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, click the little round subscribe button right below. I'm always talking about mental health, addiction, and everything else that'll help you out up here. Also, click or tap to the left on of me and check out some of the other amazing videos I make on this channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.